What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Will Burn a Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife, Dee. We back with another exclusive crazy reaction video. We're heading back into my man, one of my favorite comedians on this side, Bill Burr. Burr. And we're going into, uh, he destroys he destroys the PC culture. Ooh, I know he's going to eat them up because there's so much lanes you could go down with this. It's just like, come on, come on, Bill. Kill him. Very prestigious arena to listen to my dick and shit jokes over the next... 90 minutes. Now I'm excited to be here. I am. It's very uh, exciting to be doing stand-up outside of my own country. Yeah. No, not because of you. That's how it's become. Fucking U.S. Everything's so goddamn heavy. Fucking joke you tell. Well, what did you mean about that? I didn't go to the gym today. Are you calling me fat? I feel fucking triggered. <laughs> yes, I don't love you. I gotta fucking apologize to everybody. This is how screwed up my country is right now. Do you, you know, you know Brian Cranston, right? That dude did a movie. He played a quadriplegic. And people gave him shit. <laughs> Be like, why is there an able-bodied person playing a quadriplegic? It's like, it's because it's called acting. You don't fuck. <laughs> See, if he was a quadriplegic playing a quadriplegic, that's not acting. You are, you are right. It's just fucking laying there saying shit that someone else wrote. So tell us, what, what did you do to prepare for the role? Well, I dove head first into the shallow end of a pool when I was 23. I feel like I've been preparing for this role for my whole life. Oh my God. Right, what is up next for you? Uh, well, they're gonna do a reboot of Top Gun. Uh, I'm gonna fly it in my prom. The co-pilot's gonna be transgendered, so everybody will be happy. She won't die, her discarded dick will block her head from the canopy. What? Be a Did they pause? I only gotta what? pause because he made me laugh. He going on. I gotta pause because he's going too ham right now. Hold on, let me get my thoughts back. My jaw's hurt already. Now Bill, Bill going. Bill going. Gender neutral bathroom on the plane. <laughs> How fucking dumb is that? That's literally like watching a movie. Why didn't you have a murderer play a murderer? And how come the guy he shot? I saw him in another movie. I mean, what the there fuck is, is going on? Oh my God. No, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I think white women started it. All I do is bitch mode and complain. I had no idea how difficult it was to be a white woman in the United States of America. <laughs> Evidently, it's, it's really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're always bitching. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly less awesome than my life. <laughs> today, sweetheart, huh? Did they not chill your rosé? You know? Was the trolley not running down at the mall? What happened? No, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking balls to throw my white privilege in my face. You know? <laughs> Sorry to separate themselves from these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put your fucking whining. Look, here's a little caveat here. So you don't think I'm a complete asshole right out of the gate. All right, if you're fucking, you if you're living some honey boo boo lifestyle on the Appalachian Trail, you know, your uncle just banged you in the dirt. All right, I can listen to you. No, one of my fantasies is I want to drive by like a woman's rally and just say the most sexist shit I can think of just to watch them lose their minds. And I'll just drive by real slow and be like, yeah, why don't you get back in the kitchen where you belong? <laughs> <laughs> just to look in the rearview mirror watching them fl <laughs> flipping out in the road, <laughs> spinning around like Leatherface at the hey, end of tech. You know what? Why I ain't going to I don't got the ball. I don't think I got the balls to do it. They might try to attack you. They might tear your car. car. Your car get is so up. I don't know, Bill. You on your own with that one. This is Chainsaw Massacre. Like, <laughs> Why is he on fire? Bill came with this one. I love it. I love this outro though. This is like giving that outro. Is it done? You know that SpongeBob episode? 
You ready? Oh, beep boop, beep boop. That's what it's giving. Beep boop boop. Really? It ain't bumping though? You ain't getting that. Bit, Thank you. Bit. Exactly. It remind me of that SpongeBob. So he's like, SpongeBob. You heard that song on the radio last night? Beep boop, boop, beep boop, bop. No, it's beep bop, beep boop, beep bop, bop. <laughs> Look, let me tell y'all. You know what they did? This is like a rant I had when y'all was getting on me for saying stuff. It, Bill Burr, somebody must say something to him. He went on a whole. He I'm was on really fire. On his bucket list. Like I'm a little concerned because I really like now that I know that something on his bucket list. Like I really want to know what's on his bucket list. Like I'm pretty sure it's like the most dumbest, randomest things ever. Yeah, his list is probably amazing. But we have come that far though. Bill Burr is right though. We come far to everything. You can't say nothing without getting canceled or. Deleted, just unfollowed. Get, people just get too booty tickled nowadays. I know you know what made me laugh. Like Bill Burr, he left out one key thing. I love the un, I'm, I unfollowed you crowd, and they let you know they unfollowed you. Like nobody cares. No, nobody cares. You're announcing you're unfollowed. No, nobody cares. We don't care that you're unfollowing us. I cannot stand an unfollow person in the comments. I'm unfollowing you. No, but just leave. We've had those. <laughs> just leave. And then like I kid you not, I love all you guys that literally go in there and then like tell them like bye. Right, nobody asks. Like I tell him all the time, like that is like Nobody asked. Nobody asked you to come over and no, announce it. Wait, oh my god, I was gonna say something in the beginning of his thing. Like what was he saying? In the beginning, he thought he said something and I had it in my mind. What was he talking about? But uh, you didn't pause. He had it. me laughing too much. I can't remember. What was he talking about in the Dang beginning? It. We, we got the video in front of us. Come on, okay, let's go, go back. The, go, go back. Go you want to go back to Beep Boop Boop Boop? No, real quick? Okay. go all the way to the beginning. They played this Beep Boop for that long. Oh, we got another part. Wait a minute. Go back. Where did that come from? The beginning? No, go play the other part. Oh, you said go back. No, skip that. Just keep going. I want to hear the Beep Boop. Right there. Wait, wait. I got to make sure the Beep Boop. I ain't know what the second part. My bad, y'all. Hold on. Uh, yeah. No, it's a very, uh... Oh, shoot! I don't know. Times are changing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Michelle Obama's doing an arena tour. A what? That's another thing going on. I'm gonna say that again. Michelle Obama... <laughs> ...is doing an arena tour. She's not playing comedy clubs. She's doing arenas. What? When did first ladies start acting like they got elected? <laughs> you know? For a long time. To be the first lady, that's not a fucking job. <laughs> Just standing there smiling and waving. That's a hard job. Right? Like Look how like quiet is it in here. Why is it so fucking quiet? You think that's a job? It's not a fucking job. Dude, if you really think it's a job, just look at it. Right? Look at Obama. When that guy got elected, he looked like he was about 41 years old. When he left office, that guy looked like he was about 73. He, he, he right? Wait, wait, he did. Look at Michelle. She looks younger black. now than she did when that dude got elected. <laughs> what has she done for the last eight years? Nothing. Yeah, other than laying night. a giant vat of Illuminati level lotion, just sit there floating. Really? A couple hours, a shapeshifter comes in and dumps another bucket on her. Just <laughs> pops her head up. Hey, Bam Bam, tell Stevie Wonder to come down and play some songs tonight. <laughs> I found out she's doing a tour because uh, she's doing a book tour. Yeah, she wrote a book. She wrote a book about not having a job. <laughs> I gotta read that fucking book. Chapter one, how to know if a dick tastes presidential. How to weed your way. How to weed your way through all that local representative cock and get to the big swinging dick in the room. Oh my God. I'll tell you right now, say what you want about Republican presidents, but they got their first ladies in line. <laughs> they do. Dude, George W. was president for eight years. Eight years. I don't even know his wife's name. <laughs> I don't know she did that. What was it, Abigail or some shit? Maggie? No clue. Donald Trump's wife stands behind him like a giant meerkat. Like... <laughs> Bill Clinton was president, his wife never shut up. Ah, I want to do healthcare, yeah! He fucked around on her so much, he's like, all right, whatever, just do it. <laughs> You're the man, man. You're getting the top off and you're dead. I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out that fucking tour. I gotta see what that's all about. You know? Who opens? Who opens on that fucking tour? Was it Oprah Winfrey's husband? Yeah. <laughs> Does he fucking come out and talk about what it's like to walk her dogs? 
do it for 20 minutes a day. The Cocker Spaniel's probably the most fussiest, and I'm gonna bring him around. <laughs> Look, I'm sure that there's some uh, feminists in the crowd right now not appreciating this joke, feeling triggered, feeling like they need to fucking put out a hashtag or some shit, and be brave and speak out. You know what? You're full of shit. <laughs> oh, this whole freaking stand up. Let me I'm tell y'all. We literally almost missed, we missed it. Missed it. Hey, we had to go back to the beep boop. It was you weren't trying to hit a beep boop. I was trying to no, play. No, because like in the beginning, there's like a section. There's like a, a scene where he talks about the end. In my mind, I had it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna say that when he like, went off so much. You paused it, but you, you know what? So Let, I forgot. I think this video was meant for my spirit because I, he said what I needed to say about every topic I talk about. This really? is exactly what I need to say. But if I say it, I get canceled. He can say it. He got a bigger platform. He can do it. He's Bill Burr. Yeah, Bill Burr can like say it. Said, so, Bill Burr took the thoughts out of my head and put it on this comedy stand today that I just witnessed. That's what I wanted to say, but he said it for me. I agree with everything that was said on this stage. Mm -hmm. Amazing, Bill. And made it funny. I love the heck out of it. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video with us. Thank y'all for tuning back in once again. D is procrastinating these wings. I don't know what the heck is going on. She needs to do it. I Why keep telling y'all. Why are you lying? You're scared. You don't want to go get them. I'm just, I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm not.